Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambedotronics. So today in this video tutorial, uh, I'll show you how we can basically uh, debug step-by-step uh, step, uh, uh, any C program uh, using a Visual Studio Code Editor and uh, we will use MinGW Compiler. So if you guys haven't watched my previous videos based on Visual Studio and uh, uh, MinGW Compiler like how to install, how to uh, then how to remove uh, completely uninstall MinGW Compiler and how to to uh, uh, install uh, Visual, Studio, Visual Studio Code with uh, AMSYS2 then uh, please watch uh, those video tutorial uh, I'll put uh, those uh, tutorials in the i button itself so uh, you can get uh, those videos from there and also you can check my playlist as well so okay here uh, we will uh, take one uh, C program and we will just uh, uh, first compile that that code and then uh, step by step we will debug that code and uh, we will see how we can basically run and debug our code in uh, Visual Studio Code uh, using WinGW compiler. So okay, let's get started. So first, uh, uh, for we need to create project uh, a small project for. Uh, for any C program like uh, so for that what we need to do we need to go to file and here we will click on open folder and in this open folder we will just uh, go to new volume D and uh, any location you want uh, just to click on new folder and give, uh, give it a name vs uh, code uh, debug let's say this name this workspace name i have given now i'll select this folder and uh, within this workspace now we will what will we do we will just create one file so if you want to create a file here this this is the icon or also you can go from here and new text file you can do and also here uh, for folder if you want to create here a new folder shortcut is there so i'm going to create one uh, uh, main.c file so we will just click on this here it will ask the name so as i told like we will give main.c name only so main.c so uh, here we go so here we can here uh, uh, this main.c is now uh, there in this under this the vs code debug uh, our workspace now we will uh, take one uh, example program like uh, multiplication of two numbers let's say two float numbers uh, we will take and uh, we will just assign uh, those well uh, multiplication result to one variable a mult and then we will just uh, display that uh, value in the console so okay so what will we do uh, we will we have already written that uh, small code snippet in our notepad so from there i'll just uh, copy and uh, i'll just paste it here so here you can see uh, in, in the main uh, double x y and mult three variables are there of from of double data type and uh, in x and y we will take as an input and mult uh, we will just uh, assign the result of multiplication of x and y so here after that in line number four we are uh, saying that print two numbers like enter two numbers then we are taking as an input uh, of two numbers after that we are just multiplying those two numbers and then we will just uh, uh, printing that uh, result so this is a very simple snippet uh, line by line we will see how we basically execute this thing so first let's save this thing by just pressing ctrl s so now it's saved now we will just click on this three uh, uh, dots and go to, we'll go to term terminal and we'll click on terminal and here here terminal will come now here gcc minus o first we will compile it just gcc minus o main dot uh, exe let's say this name only i want to give and then main dot c so uh, after uh, compiling it main dot exe will be generated here in the workspace so let me hit uh, this uh, let me hit the enter so here you can see now main dot exe is created now we need to execute this main dot exe so dot backslash main uh, and now m a after that we can type tab so main.c will come uh, uh, whatever the files are there or those files it will display so 
EXC is also there, but EX, before EXC, C, e, C comes, that's why C main dot C it is showing. Now again we need to hit the tab, then EXC will come. So this is the thing main dot EXC. Now I'll just hit the enter and now it will ask enter two numbers. So let me just give one point, let's say five and uh, another number, let's say um, zero point three. So uh, I'll get the result 4.50, uh, some 4.50. So let's see, uh, 0 0.45, sorry because uh, to this, zero point, this is 0 0.3 and uh, uh, this is 1.5 so result is 0 0.5 so okay so this is the result now uh, what will we do we will just uh, do uh, uh, step by step debugging how basically we can debug that uh, program so for that uh, let's say uh, I'll just put one breakpoint here uh, so for putting breakpoint what you need to do you need to uh, uh, just uh, put cursor here and uh, anywhere in the line and then cl click uh, one time uh, and here it will just uh, put a uh, breakpoint here and after that here run and debug or, or or also control shift D also you can do shortcut so now if I click on this icon now here you can see uh, our main dots our breakpoints also it is showing at line number four it is showing so we have the as you can see line number four breakpoint we have uh, put now if i'll put one more breakpoint here let's say here uh, so again line number eight also it will show breakpoint is there so this way it is showing now we will just run and debug we will click on this and uh, we will select the debugger and, and uh, you already know like when we install uh, min msys to then uh, this gdb also get installed so we'll select this gdb and uh, this uh, gcc.exe build and debug active file we will uh, just choose uh, here uh, we go and now our debugger will start running uh, so it will take uh, uh, just a, f a few moments uh, here you can see now the debugger is running gdb is the debugger uh, now uh, I have just put one breakpoint here so it stopped here now here you can see these icons are coming here uh, one first icon is uh, basically continue so if I click on continue it will start uh, running uh, continuously and then we have this step over and then this is step into and this is step out and then this is restart and this is stop so what will we do we will just um, uh, click on this step over uh, so so here you can see it executed the first uh, uh, line from this uh, line number four uh, we can see this this in terminal so here you can see enter two numbers so now it is in the scanf uh, line so we need to execute this scanf line to uh, give input so again we will step over from here so now what will we do we will give input so uh, same input i am giving like let's say 1.5 uh, and uh, 0 0.5 so two uh, inputs uh, i have given 1.5 and 0 0.5 now it uh, came here now here if i go to mult uh, some uh, value it is showing 3.46 and e to the power minus 317 so this is basically a garbage value because uh, this is a, a locally a declared function if i'll initialize with zero then then only it contain it, it can contain zero otherwise it will be it will always be a garbage value after hitting uh, clicking this uh, step over button now you you will see that mult will have this value what whatever the result we will get by multiplying 1.5 and 0 0.5 so i am just clicking on this step over now so now uh, if i'll just go to the uh, uh, put my cursor to mult you can see uh, it is uh, containing 0 0.75 so this is the value we are getting uh, from uh, by multiplying x and y uh, 1.5 into 0 0.5 is 0 0.75 
now we will just again uh, go to step over and uh, we'll see the result because uh, now it, uh, it executed line number 11 also so result is 0 0.75 uh, from both the book breakpoints it it came out and um, executed uh, these lines these all lines like uh, from step over uh, only I have shown you now uh, we, we will we can just click on continue because it is uh, just uh, uh, after after last line it will just come out of this function by returning zero successful results so we'll just click on this so it came out of the debugger and uh, it, it stopped debugger also and uh, we have uh, we can see result is 0 0.75 so this way we can see uh, uh, we can debug uh, uh, our code uh, line by line uh, in uh, uh, vs code editor uh, here you can see in dot vs code we have this task dot json so here basically we are we can see these are the commands and all we, uh, it is um, uh, it is showing uh, in the next video I will show you how we can uh, directly compile and run uh, and we can change some uh, parameters in this tasks.json so that we can directly compile and run build our program from this uh, from our own task bits basically we will create our own uh, uh, one another task basically and then we can uh, see how things will work i hope you like this tutorial uh, if you have any doubt regarding this uh, just feel free to comment as below and uh, don't forget to uh, forget to subscribe our channel it uh, really motivates us to make more videos like that thanks for watching this video